All right, guys, today we've got the Tokyo Olympics 3D printing their podiums, Stratus is launching a brand new medical printer, and Polaroid with a tasty new take on the 3D printing pen. Let's get right into it. Starting off with Polaroid. Yes, you heard that right. And yes, they're still around, recently launching another addition to their lineup of 3D printing products, which includes some entry level FDM machines and 3D printing pens. Their new Candy Play, as the name implies, is a 3D printing pen that prints edible filaments made of candy. Actually, not filaments, more like sticks. They also say it's designed to be as ergonomic as possible, like holding a pencil. But they also say that all six edible filaments are sugar-free. We don't know what they use instead of sugar, so that's either a good or maybe a bad thing. But uh, anyway, they include templates with the pen to help you get started with their best design practices. And this could really be a great addition to any bakery or dessert place or even a small business. Creating custom decorations for cakes or pastries or even making somebody's name edible for their birthday it could unlock a ton of new possibilities. The candy play is about $49 and that's actually not a bad deal. Do you think you'd uh, want to buy one? Personally, I'd probably go for the pancake bot machine first that we talked about in our food 3D printing video, which is linked down below. Uh, Einstein face on a pancake, I mean, come on. But candy's still pretty cool. Next, we have Stratasys launching their brand new J5 Metajet medical printer. This new addition to their lineup of medical printing solutions was designed specifically for patient-specific anatomical models, surgical guides, and medical tooling, compatible with a range of sterilizable and biocompatible 3D printing resins. Now, the J5 offers a build volume of about 140 by 200 by 190 millimeters and has the capability of holding up to five different materials. Inside the build chamber, you'll find their patented rotation build platform and their fixed inkjet print head. Now, this design is said to improve reliability and streamline a lot of the maintenance issues. It's the second addition to their J5 lineup following the J5 Dentajet that focuses on, well, dental, as the name implies. Now, 3D printing has really become a game changer in the operating room, especially for the patient-specific anatomical models and surgical guides. These tools can make surgery safer and easier by enabling mass customization of tooling to fit to each individual case. Many times when you see 3D printing saving lives in hospitals, it's because of the patient-specific models that allow the surgeons to practice complex and specific procedures, giving them a greater rate of success. After all, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Is 3D printing in the medical field something that you're interested in? Do you want us to make a video on it? Let me know down in the comment section below and we'll do it. Also worth mentioning this week is Anycubic's Home Decoration 3D Printing Contest. The company is looking for artists, engineers, makers, and pretty much anybody with a printer to design and print a novel piece of decorative home furniture. Definitely worth checking out if you're uh, into design and printing challenges, not to mention the possibility of winning one of their brand new Viper 3D printers. And next we have the Tokyo Olympics 3D printing all of the winners' podiums for all events out of recycled plastics. Created in line with the theme of sustainability, each of the 98 podiums will conserve raw materials as well as reduce energy costs by 3D printing them. Also noted is that the podiums can and most likely will be recycled after the games conclude. The plastics themselves, <laughs> this is actually really cool, the plastics they're using came from a collection campaign that's seen contributions from Japanese citizens by tossing empty laundry detergent bottles and shampoo containers into special collection boxes at more than 2,000 locations across the country over the course of several years. Now, the podiums consist of the cubes containing the harmonized checkered emblem of the 2020 Olympic Games. The Olympic ring symbol on the front of the podiums will be made from aluminum waste from the temporary housing units they built back in 2011 for families affected by the Fukushima earthquake and tsunami. I mean, that's just cool. Uh, is, uh, yeah. Now, apart from being beautiful, they say that these Olympic podiums each account for 75 grams of carbon dioxide not being released into the atmosphere and an energy savings equal to, get this, the power used to light a standard home for 112 years. Man, well, what do you think of the uh, 3D printed Olympic podiums? Let me know down in the comments below and uh, we might feature you one of these weeks. 
Now, if you're interested in functional 3D printing like this, hit us up on our website or give us a call. We use and sell all kinds of machines and we can help you find the right one. If you guys like this content, you got something out of it, you want more of it, definitely let us know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and we'll see you on the next video.